Winning the Stanley Cup is the pinnacle of hockey success, or is it? What about winning a title at the World Championships or an Olympic gold medal? With the Winter Olympics around the corner and the NHL's decision to keep players from competing in the games, what better time to start discussing players who have written the history books? We're talking about champions among champions, the most winning names in hockey. Who are they? How did they get there? And how does the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing impact the future of hockey's most exclusive club? Today, we're taking a deep dive into hockey's Triple Gold Club. The Triple Gold Club is exclusive to hockey players and coaches who have won all three major championships in their career. A Stanley Cup, an Olympic gold medal, and a World Championship gold medal. As of right now, only 29 players and one coach have scaled this mountain of tremendous glory, going down in history as the most winning players to have ever played the game of hockey. Separate from the obvious talent and skill it takes to be a professional athlete, the relentless brute force and laser focus to consistently capitalize in elimination tournaments is what makes these players extraordinary. Now let's take a look at who's been inducted into Triple Gold as of 2022, and who's the only player in history to have captained all three championships. We'll answer that at the end of this video. So far there are players from only four nations, Canada representing 12 of the 30 Triple Gold members. Rob Blake, Joe Sackick, Brendan Shanahan, Scott Niedermeyer, Chris Pronger, Jay Bo Meester, Sidney Crosby, Eric Stahl, Jonathan Taves, Patrice Bergeron, Corey Perry, and coach Mike Babcock. You might be surprised that many of these players are still active today. That's because the first Canadian players to be inducted into Triple Gold was only in 2002 when Canada won an Olympic gold medal in Salt Lake City. Since then, they've won two more Olympic golds in 2010 and 2014. The very first players to achieve triple gold was way back in February of 94 when Sweden won gold in the 1994 Winter Games in Norway. Mats Naslund, Håkon Lub, and Thomas Johnson. Since then, six more players have been inducted and today Sweden has a total of nine players with triple gold status. That's Peter Forsberg, Nicholas Lindstrom, Frederick Modine, Nicholas Cronwall, Henrik Zetterberg, and Mikhail Samuelsson. When Czech Republic won gold at the 1998 Nagano Winter Olympics in Japan, that solidified Yuri Slager and Jarmer Jager's place in the club. And Russia has seven players on the triple gold list, with Olympic gold medals in 1984, 1988, 1992, and 2018. Pavel Datsuk, Vladimir Malikov, Alexander McGilney, Igor Larionov, Valery Kamensky, Alexei Gusarov, and Vyacheslav Fetisov, all triple gold members. That's a pretty impressive list. Now you might be wondering why I only mentioned Olympic gold medals and not Stanley Cups or World Championships. That's because outside of the 2005 NHL lockout, the Stanley Cup and World Hockey Championships have been awarded consistently each year. That doesn't make winning them any easier, as winning 16 games in the NHL playoffs is one of the greatest feats in all professional sports. The Olympic gold medal is even more elusive. The last time an active NHL player was invited to represent their home country at the Olympics was back in 2014 in Sochi, Russia. Combined with the fact that the Winter Olympics only take place every four years, and the team only rosters about two dozen hockey players, the Olympic gold medal is historically the most sparse award in hockey. That means the NHL's decision to not have players compete in Beijing's 2022 Winter Games may close the door on some active NHL players who may retire before having a shot to compete. Most players won't be as lucky as Pavel Datsuk, who was not a rostered NHL player in 2018 and captained Russia to an Olympic gold medal after 14 NHL seasons. 
That said, there are some notable names on the brink of triple goals, notching two of the three championships in their belt, nearly sealing their fate as a diversified hockey world champion. Steven Stamkos already has captained his team to two back-to-back cups. He's won the World Cup of Hockey and a World Junior Championship. But that still puts him a world championship and an Olympic gold medal away from triple gold. Although I wouldn't put it past him to achieve it before he retires, there are players who are more likely to get there before he does. Brad Marchand, Ryan O'Reilly, Tyler Sagan, and Coach Barry Trotz are just one Olympic gold medal away. Washington Capitals are stacked with guys revved up for a shot at an Olympic gold to seal their induction. Alexander Ovechkin, Evgeny Kuznetsov, Andrei Vasilevsky, and Dmitry Orlov all have a long history of winning championships together. Out of Genny Melkin to the mix, Russia would be a real gold medal threat at the Olympic Games. Sweden too has three active players just an Olympic gold medal away from rewriting the history books. Patrick Hornquist, Nicholas Backstrom, and Victor Hetman were all expected to represent Sweden this winter, but will have to wait till 2026 for another chance. In Team USA, believe it or not, as of today, there are no American hockey players with even two thirds of the requirements of triple gold. American players have won plenty of Stanley Cups, but Team USA has not won a gold medal at the World Championships since 1960, or won an Olympic gold medal since 1980. That's not to say they haven't been close. Back in 1980, Ken Morrow won a gold medal with Team USA in Lake Placid Winter Games and the Stanley Cup with the Islanders in the same year. Simply put, a very select few American-born players may be in contention for triple gold induction before their careers are over. By the time the Stanley Cup gets awarded this spring, the Triple Gold Club will most certainly have a new generation of superstars on the rise. Avalanche, Leafs, Golden Knights, and Panthers all have players who have succeeded in the World Championships with good odds for a cup, putting even more pressure on NHL players next time they do participate in the Winter Games. By now you must be thinking, what about the legends? Wayne Gretzky, Mario Lemieux, Bobby Orr, Gordy Howe, Tony Esposito, and all the other greats. That takes us back to the cornerstone of the Olympic Games when professional athletes were not eligible to compete. Originally, only amateur athletes were permitted to participate in the Olympics and no professionals were allowed to play since that provided an unfair advantage to their amateur counterparts. In fact, active NHL players have only ever competed in the Winter Olympics on five occasions, between 1998 and 2014. And since the World Championships are held at the same time every year as the Stanley Cup playoffs, players are chosen from teams that didn't make the playoffs. Players are often too banged up from a full season of hockey to represent their team for international play, therefore limiting their chance of even playing in the World Championships. And for the players that do compete, they're often paired up with someone they've never played with before, having very little time to practice. Still, there are a few outstanding players who did win Olympic gold medals and World Championship golds, but didn't have a chance to hoist Lord Stanley's Cup in their careers, like Matt Sandin, Roberto Luongo, and Jerome McGinley and a very honorable mention to the great Brett Hall, who is born in Canada but chose to represent Team USA internationally because of his dual citizenship. He was only one game away from triple gold status, but settled for a silver medal in the 2002 Winter Games after USA lost to Canada in the finals. So it's a catch-22. The greatest players are either competing in the Stanley Cup playoffs or in the World Championships on any given year. As of right now, in January 2022, the only active players that are a Stanley Cup away from triple gold are Nashville Predators' Matt Duchesne, Montreal Canadiens' Shea Weber, and Edmonton Oilers' goaltender Mike Smith. And the only active NHL players needing a World Championship title are all Canadians. Ryan Getzlav, Alex Pietrangelo, Jeff Carter, Drew Doughty, Duncan Keith, and Mark andre Fleury. And to answer our question earlier, of course, only Sid the Kid has captained all three tournaments to victory. At this rate, who knows, maybe the next Triple Gold member hasn't even played his first NHL game yet. Who do you think will be inducted into Triple Gold next? Have I missed someone? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Please support the channel by clicking like and subscribe for more hockey-related content. Thank you for watching.